In order to have an AI Discord bot available to everyone, you gotta go fast. Thanks to some hard work, dedication and research, we now have up to 4K upscaling and automatic prompt improvement when users are generating images. Hey everyone, welcome to the Emerald Show. How did you all sleep? Really? Well, that's just great. You know, I slept pretty great myself too, because I officially launched my Patreon account today where you can sponsor my development. But more on that later, let's first take a look at what is new. Because it is time to step out of our model's comfort zone. Fine tuning stable diffusion is not really something new. We've got textual inversion, we got dream boot, and now we got a new kit on the block called LoRa. Sadly, fine tuning stable diffusion can take up to 40 minutes depending on what method you're using. And honestly, one of my biggest things I've dreamed of is that people all over the world can use whatever photos they want with the click of a button. And it seems that after almost six months of research, that dream may very well have come true. Starting from today, Thingy3 is now beta testing a feature called Boosted Textual Inversion with Leap. And boy, this thing is incredibly fast. In just under 4 minutes, you can generate pretty much any image you like, training from any type of picture you want. The way it works is by looking at the multiple pictures at once, for example, a picture of a person with multiple backgrounds, like if you were to take multiple selfies. And find common features within these photos and then use these features to create what we call a boosted model. This boosted model becomes our initial weights. And then we only have to train for a few minutes to get the actual object correctly. What really happens under the hood is that by deploying Leap before training on, for example, textual inversion, is we find a local minimum, which is within as far as the window where we are in can see, we can find a minimum. And this local minimum is typically a very generic representation of the object you're trying to train. For example, if you have a few pictures of an old man, then it will likely just find a generic old man. Then we can use that initial model generated by Leap to then train on the actual details of that older man. In that case, textual inversion basically becomes style transfer. All of this and more can now be used on my Discord bot on my server, or if you want, you can find the project on GitHub and run it yourself with or without the Discord bot. I promise you it is as easy as running textual inversion. So if you have done that before, you probably get going really fast. Now that we have gained a deeper understanding of the new features that are in Thingy3, it's time for a little household announcement. If you love my work, you can now sponsor me on Patreon for $3 per month. And in return, I give you exclusive voting rights on new features that we're going to build, as well as a 50% discount on any paid services that may occur in the future. With your sponsorship, not only can I work on the Discord bot, but I can also research much more cool models and they will be there. For example, we can try out the new LoRa model with our booster model to see if we can even speed that up. Imagine if that is going 10 times faster than it is right now. Imagine the possibilities. And by sponsoring my work, you now have an opportunity to be a part of that. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for the grainy background and my sleepy head. I was working on this way too long. I think I took about just two days just for the interface because Thingy was mostly optimized for images and now we're generating models. So what are you interested in? What are you going to train the model on? Your pets? Your loved ones? Yourself? Feel free to let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to. And if you're going to bed, of course, Nini Drag is another peculiarities. I hope to see you next time and maybe on my Patreon. But for now, I wish you all a pleasant day. Love to all. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.